Today I'm going to show you how to set up a boost activated output. Our first step is scroll down to map options. Next, we're going to click on boost activated output number one. Then we can go to our outputs and configure our boost activated output. Now we can scroll up and find boost activated output under other functions. The first setting is when we're actually going to turn the output on. The one below that is when we're going to turn it off. We have three activation modes. One is always active. The other one is active on two-step, three-step, and burnout. And the last one is not active only on two-step, three-step, and burnout. Below that, we also have a minimum RPM to trigger and a minimum TPS to trigger. Today, I'm not going to be using either of these, so I'm going to leave them unchecked. The last option you have on the screen is the output signal. This depends on how you have your output configured and wired, but today ours is activated by ground. Congratulations, guys. You just set up your first boost activated output, and I'll see you on the racetrack.